All right, so here's a fairly simple trick with just four cards, okay? I'll show it to you a few times, and at the end, I'll teach you how it's done. Okay, so if I just flick the cards like that, that makes one of the cards turn face up. In this case, the, uh, the Ace of Spades. And that's the one you want to watch for, okay? Not the other three cards. The other three are just jokers, and they're there to confuse you, all right? So to recap, right now you've got the ace face up in the middle. If I do that move once more like this, that's going to make the ace turn face down. You get the idea. We'll take it up a level though. So if I grab uh, one of the jokers and put it in face up like that, this time when I do the move, it gets switched out for the ace. Or just as fast, you can flick the cards once more and the ace gets switched out for one of the jokers. That's slightly more tricky. The cool part though is if I grab one of the jokers and put it away in my pocket, it will make no difference at all, because I still have one, two, three, four cards. Because, this is the card trick, right, with the three jokers and the ace of spades. And there, I just did the move once more. As for how it's done, right, well, if you saw how it was done, then that's great. If not, I'll tell you now. Um, so I actually have uh, another ace to kind of help me out, okay, that's right here. That helps a lot. I also got an extra card, okay, you probably didn't notice that either, that's over here. As well as a secret assistant to... Help me along the way. Okay, it's the uh, secret assistant. But like any card trick, they're all really simple. As long as you've got marked cards. Don't know if you noticed that. But at least you now know how it's done. 